How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we will be taking a look at Nether Reactor Reborn by True Cowboy here. It goes it goes ahead and adds in the Nether Reactor back into the game, which if you don't know, used to be the Nether for Pocket Edition. Pocket Edition devices weren't strong enough to have the full on Nether that dimension. So this is what we had, but this add-on's pretty cool, and I wanted to give it a little showcase today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Um, this is basically all it adds. Um, you get this is the crafting recipe for the nether reactor core. Uh four iron in the corner, four diamonds, and another star, and that goes ahead and gives you this thing. Now what's cool about this is theoretically you only need to craft this once and I'll show you why. Um, you will need four blocks of gold, four chiseled nether bricks, and ten nether brick blocks. Now the reason for this is you have to build a little something. So what you're going to do is you're going to place four blocks in the corner. You're going to get your nether brick blocks. Make like a cross. You're going to get chiseled nether brick and place it on the actual gold itself then you're going to go ahead and place it the nether uh, reactor core in the middle you're going to get your nether brick blocks and basically do another cross up top that leaves you with something like this now if you remember in pocket edition this is pretty much the same uh like style and design of what you need to do I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory here. And we're going to go ahead and activate this thing. As you can see, it has activated here. I'm going to go ahead and go game mode. Spectator here. Um, This is what it adds though. As you can see, it built this big old structure. Now you definitely don't want to place this in your base. Your base will be ruined. Um. Just don't do that. Uh, but this thing, this isn't how it always used to be. It used to be like super small and it would generate you quartz. But the first floor usually would generate you items. This right here. Here, let me go ahead and turn down the audio real quick. Alrighty, so we used to have a glowing obsidian. I wish they would just add this block back in. This used to be a classic. You were able to get this. As you can see, this has cooled down here. This has cooled down here. It's no longer glowing obsidian. Um, You also have crying obsidian. And it also generates you a bunch of different nether, nether drops. Now, it may look like a lot and overpowered and stuff. But in reality, you, you get like a half stack of each item. Um, you do get piglins. You do get endermen, apparently. Um, then, yeah. We would, now, we will be coming back to this. Next, we're going to go ahead and hop into the next floor here. There's five layers. This is the crimson forest, as you can see. This has chests, hoglins. Um, as you can see, these are randomized chests. These are not the same because... I actually checked that just to verify and make sure it wasn't just copying and pasting chests. There is a random loophole, which is nice. The next one is the Warped Forest. You do get some Striders, more Endermen, um, as well as some more chests here. I'm just showing you what all you can get. Some Wither Roses, which are super useful. Next is the, uh, I forgot what biome this is called, um, but yeah, it's this biome. You get some magma cubes as well as some more chests. See? Next is the, like, the nether fortress biome. You get your wither skeletons, and you do get a chest full of stuff. So, hopefully you get a wither skull out of these five. And if not, oh well. Next, we're going to go ahead and patch that up real quick. At the very top, you do get a blaze spawner with some lava 
and some blazes. This is useful, so you actually can spawn this in and just keep it, maybe build a blaze spawner out of it. But then all on the outside right here are the different ores and stuff you you could mine, netherrack, gold, glowstone, etc. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Right here. Now if we go back to the bottom, there is something cool here. Now, you're able to mine this. This is one thing you, I don't think you were actually able to do in uh, Pocket Edition. So if you're, if you're old like me, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there was this block. Um, you get this burnt out nether reactor core. Now, instead of having to craft this all over again, which you easily could do, you take this core, you put it in here, you grab yourself another star, and it reactivates the core. And let's see if I can actually like speed out of here real quick. Well, actually, I got to build out of it. You know what I mean. But, yeah, that's pretty much the whole add-on. I think it's super cool. If you want to add this to the world, there will be a download description or a link in the description down below. But I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Make your dog hit the subscribe button. Make your grandmother hit the subscribe button. Do whatever you got to do. But... I'll catch y'all in the next one. Goodbye.